For this simple motion tracking tutorial, I'm just going to give you three very simple items. A reaction shot from me, the shot out the window where I'm going to put something in the sky, and then a picture of rocks which I will use to put in the sky. So the first thing we got to do is for the shot out the window, uh, we got to convert that into an image sequence. To do that, I'm going to launch Avid Mux. It's going to say, hey, you're going to lose frames. Do you want to use the model that's not going to do that? No, I don't. I'm not that interested. It's okay. And uh, we're going to shrink this down so you can see what's going on there. And basically, all you have to do from within Avid Mux is go to Save, Save Selection as JPEG Images. And then you got to choose where you want that. So I'll put it in the Skyrock thing. Let's call it no and then it's just gonna crunch through that sweet 627 images okay now for the program that I'm using I think I can only use 30 of them so we're gonna jump forward to a spot where uh, I know that I want to be looking out the window and just delete all of the extra ones that I don't really need all right so now what we do is we launch patchmaker and we create a new project and uh, we basically just select one of the pictures in here, or just grab the first frame here, and say OK. Now what you'll notice is, even though you just clicked on one of the pictures, it pulls in all of the images in the image sequence that we have there. So that's now in the frame, uh, in the program there. The first thing we need to do is create a new segment. Now you'll see that that puts a yellow line down here. That's OK. We just pull this out. So now that covers the entire area. The segment is going to be the piece that enables us to track our motion and what's going on there. So we click on, this, on the segment, so it's depressed there, and now we've got the, the paintbrush. The paintbrush is not active. We click down, paintbrush is now active. And what we want to do is just kind of paint over a part of the frame that we know stays in there the entire time and just kind of get parts where there's some, some contrast going on. So within the trees, maybe on that house there, something like that. Basically, you're just giving it, um, right now you're defining what space you want it to look at when it's uh, trying to match your motion. And so we'll just double check to make certain that that stays in the frame the whole time. Yes, those trees stay in the picture the whole time. So it's going to make it pretty easy for it to do that. And then all that we need to do now is just hit enter, and it's going to start clunking through the pictures uh, just figuring out where the motion goes and how that works. So that is this part. And so it's just right now tracking the motion for us. And now when we, uh, we can turn back on the mask over here, and now when we play it, you can see that it's doing a pretty good job tracking the motion of those trees as it were warps through that whole thing. So that's working great. The next step though is to figure out which object we want to put inside the sky there. So what we're going to do is we are going to go create that now in GIMP. So we open up our rock picture in GIMP and uh, I decide that this rock right here looks pretty stinking cool. So we're going to zoom in on that and we're going to cut that out. I'm going to use my pen tool and quickly cut out the, the stone if I was really worried about it I would do a little more bellies and whatnot to get it around those corners and make it look really nice and all that stuff but this is just a quick tutorial so we're just gonna quickly hack out this picture here okay so there we have the rock by itself the thing we want to do now is grab the first image and open that in GIMP and then paste into the frame here now that's great, that's wonderful, but I don't really like the position of it or how it looks. So we're going to move it to where we want it. Hmm. And let's rotate this, this rock just a little bit so that it looks like it's kind of in the sky a little bit. There we go. And that's still a little bit too large. So we're going to just shrink that guy down and maybe stretch him out a little bit so it looks more like a, like a space something or other space rock coming in. We're just going to set it right there in the frame. That looks pretty good actually. And what we can do now is turn off the background so it's just this with the alpha layer behind it. And then we save it as, and we're going to save this as Skyrock. And we're going to change this instead of a JPEG to a PNG or ping image. And that way we have the alpha layer launch Patchmaker again. And uh, we go in and we say File, Import, Overlay. And we just choose our new ping image that we used. And it imports it. And now you've got your green line there. That's that. And that's it. You're done. It 
follows the motion of your uh, action just right there boom done just follows it right along and you can of course turn off the mask over here if you don't want to see that and so this thing is just the overlay it just goes right there just rocking right along it's pretty cool so you are done with the motion tracking aspect and so you just need to go to file render composition and then you're going to choose a new place to put that I'm going to put that in a new folder that I'm going to call render so I open that up and uh, we're going to add a JPEG to the end of it because otherwise it's going to save it as a project file which is really odd just cranks through saving new images and rendering is successful over here um, just so that you know I did change this opacity down to 60 percent I think it just fits better within the frame feel free to adjust whatever other parameters you want to I didn't need to do anything other than kick that down just to give that a little bit more of a faded in it fits in the background just a little bit better and now I am done with patch maker and so I don't need to save the changes you are certainly more than welcome to just in case you need to re-render out something or if you don't get images the first time you got project files whatever that is give that a go but now uh, we've got in our render folder we've got a bunch of JPEGs ready to go into Windows Movie Maker we're just gonna select all of them open and boom they're already all on the timeline right here already ready to go but they're a little long uh, so that doesn't really work for us we're gonna select all of them with just a and then we can just um, go up here to edit their duration we have them all selected is seven seconds we're gonna kick that down to 0 0.6 you can go you can bring it down to 0 0.3 but that was a little bit too fast for me and I feel like that just kinda works pretty well just right like that not too bad so there is our awesome effect shot already here in Windows Movie Maker the only other thing that we need to do now is just go back and add my reaction shot to this project so we just kinda of bring it over into Windows Movie Maker drop it in at the beginning there it's going to of course have to render this whole thing out saying hey it needs to get ready for this and then we just start trimming so we're gonna pull forward just a little bit here I'm actually gonna zoom in on the timeline so it's easier for me to see what's going on We're just gonna back out just a tad and we're gonna start the shot right about there so split it out delete this part move forward go in over to the window where it's about where I'm looking out the window we're gonna do a split and then uh, I can actually move this clip down to the end of everything so we're just gonna drop that at the end there and uh, this is where I then come in and I look at the camera and say whoa what's going on and I look back out again and uh, I'm gonna split again get rid of this part because I don't need that that's junk after that and I'm actually gonna copy my shot and I'm going to paste my effect shot again at the end so that my movie begins uh, with a shot walking up to it and then runs out of it so let's just take a quick look see at what's going on with this whole thing here so back out and here we go so walking over to the window look out the window oh my goodness there's the effect shot what's going on don't know look back out pretty cool now, of course, at this point in time, if you wanted to, you could affect, you could do some effect shots, do some other things to change this, make it look a little bit better, all that stuff, add some credits, that kind of thing. So I'm going to do all that, and then I'm going to show you the final product. Pretty cool. I highly recommend uh, going out and trying one of these projects. Just throw something together really quick just to get an idea of how easy it is to do motion tracking with the free programs that are available out there. Pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Swing by blog.production-now.com for more tutorials and other cool stuff. And uh, keep watching for other videos as they come out. Thanks for watching.